Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to copy from Notion to Google Sheets with uh, one plugin that is called Bardeen. So we're going to use Bardeen. This is great for automating your tasks. Uh, for example, adding data to Google Sheets uh, from Notion, right? And just go here, try it, it's free, click on it. And then here you will be able to add it to your uh, Google Chrome extension. Now, as you can see, I have it here. So I'll just put it here, right here. So I can go to my uh, right here list that I have. This is just a simple list, right? So what I can do is I can go to Bardeen here. I can open up a Bardeen, right? And as you can see, I have here a lot of different things, right? Uh, now what I can do is I can Notion, I can type Notion to Sheets. Copy a Notion database to Google Sheet, click on it here. As you can see, we need to connect two apps. So we just need to connect these two. So we can go here and then just connect it here. Continue. And then as you can see, obviously we need the permissions, right? So as you can see, we need to just go here and try it again here. Or what we can do is we can go back. We can open up a Bardeen again, connect. And then here we need to connect and I will show you why. So we need to go here and we need to add these two as well. So continue. Then once we have this, what we can do is we can go here. Okay. Run playbook here. And then what we need to do is add a uh, database, right? So as you can see, start typing. So what we can do is we can type a database or create notion database. Uh, for example, what we can do, find Notion pages from database. We can add tutorial or something like that, right? And then pretty much once you add a database, right, you will be able to also start typing to get your database. So let's say if you have a database um, that's called personal library, right? What I can do is I can go here, I can go to uh, again and then type in personal library, right? And then here I can put the database, click on the database and I can pretty much complete the setup and it will open up a Google Sheet uh, in another window, right? That you can use and you will have all your data from your database in that Google Sheet. So that's pretty much how to do it the fastest way possible. Uh, now, if you have any questions or comments regarding this, comment down below and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.